Okay, as I promised, I'm posting this um, one particular example with uh, my own numbers, which is part of the homework nine, and has at least one trick. So I need to find this voltage here, which turns out the voltage to be the voltage across the capacitor because of the um, because of this ground imposed by the uh, op amp. Also, the current here is zero. So this current splits into these two, the one milliamp splits into these two, and then comes back as one milliamp. So knowing that this is zero and this is one milliamp, I can find immediately V out to always be one milliamp times 10K equals IR, which means 10 volts. So this is the answer to the first part of the question. What's, what's the output voltage? Because I'm forcing a current through here, um, it's always one milliamp. And now the only other question is V1 of T, which is the voltage across the capacitor. But I'm going to find um, with KCL, just like we've done all op-amp circuits in the past, so I'm going to say I can do KCL here or here, it doesn't matter. This is one milliamp. So it's the current, the one milliamp equals the current through the capacitor plus the current through the 20k. So 10 to the minus 3 equals d v dt uh, times 1 micro plus the, oops, the dv1 dt and then this one is v1 divided by 20k equals 10 to the minus 3. So this is a first order equation and it's very similar to um, the, the, the RC circuits we've been doing and you can do two things here. Either find the forced response and, oops, let me divide everybody by one micro. 20 to the minus 3. So as you see the force response, which is the voltage across the capacitor for T tending to infinity, is V1 equals 20. So when V1 equals 20, then we get this as zero. And the natural response, V1 natural is going to be K e to the minus T over tau where tau is RC, and in this case it's, this is our RC, and and then the total response is this plus this, so And then we know that at zero, the voltage across the capacitor is zero. So we substitute here, and we find that K equals minus 20. Because Vc, V1 equals Vc of zero. Ah, V1 of zero equals Vc of zero. So finally, V1 of T equals 20 times 1 minus E exponential of minus 50 T volts. So this is the answer for this one. So long as the, the voltage across the capacitor is 0 at 0. So I hope this helps mainly with the, this current here also here because there is no current through the input into the input of the op amp so the output voltage is 10. This is it.